Hey everybody, this is Brian with Bear Cards 34 back with another video. Just kind of a bunch of everything today. I've got a TTM, I have a care package, I have a couple more packs of these on it athletes. I'm a big fan of these and I had fun opening the one, so I got a couple more. And so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I also have a few little eBay pickups, stuff from the 90s, which was my favorite time in collecting. And so we're going to also have a guest on the show, my youngest daughter. Do you want to say hi? Hi. And what are you going to be opening today? Um. What are these? What are they called? Oh, they're called laughs, but oh, they're, right? they're yeah. cards, right? And what yeah. are you hoping to get in these? Full house cards. Full House Cards. She is a huge fan of Full House and Fuller House. Uh, you know, she probably knows more about Full House than I do about football cards. So she knows her stuff. She is a mega fan. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start off, first of all, with a mail day. Uh, or, sorry, with a care package. I'm really excited about this. So uh, Jason over at the Basement Card Collector, he sent me a care package here. I'm really excited about that. Thank you very much, Jason. Really appreciate it. Uh, his channel is The Basement Card Collector. It's a great channel. And if you have any doubts, all you have to look at is his YouTube channel page. It is a picture of Andre Dawson, pretty much my favorite baseball player ever. So that is awesome. Uh, he collects Cubs, Bulls, 49ers, FSU, Hoosiers. Uh, he does TTM videos, set building. Uh, collects uh, some of the best players from Major League Baseball with vintage cards. He has an awesome channel. So definitely check him out if you haven't already. And uh, let's go ahead and see what he sent my way. Okay, here we go. I've had this for a few days now, so I'm excited to uh, open it up on camera. Oh, look at that. Do you know who that is? What team that is? Um, Bears? <laughs> yeah, that, that is the Bears. Yeah, see this Bears helmet right there? Yeah. Yeah, it's got that logo right there. That's awesome. That is, ooh, and we got something in here. Oh, something awesome. Can you read what that says right there, Avery? Where? Do you know whose card this is? Um, Walter Payton. And who, who do you know whose favorite player ever is Walter Payton? You. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Uh, Brian, I got a box of Bear Christmas cards, and it made me think of you. Also, thank you for sending me the FSU Jordan Travis cards. Uh, Merry Christmas, Jason, Jason, the Basement Card Collector. That is fantastic. That is awesome. All right, so this is from one of Walter Payton's very last ever playing days cards. This is his 1,000-yard rushing club from 1987 tops right after the 86 season. That is awesome. William the Refrigerator Perry, one of my all-time favorite players. Oh, that's awesome. Gail Sayers. That's a pro line. What year would that be? 1993. Uh, one of the all-time NFL greats. Neil Anderson. Uh, so right here you've got three awesome running backs. You know, two Hall of Famers and, and a really nice successor to Walter Payton. He was really, really good for a few years. Oh, that's an awesome card. I've never even seen that before. Luther Ellis, and you know what's kind of funny, in the uh, Onyx box, or sorry, the Onnit box, uh, I got Luther Ellis' son, Jonah Ellis, who is just declared for the NFL draft. He had a great season, a lot of quarterback sacks, and now he's following after his dad's footsteps both at Utah and uh, in the NFL, so that's a sweet card right there. Oh, nice, right there, John Beck, another guy from my home state of Utah. Another card I've never seen before. Press proofs right there. NCAA leaders. That's awesome. Uh, John Tate. You know, he was a really good player in the NFL. That's awesome. Uh, then we got a Kurt Hawes. Wow. Haven't heard that name in a long time. And that is one out of 45,000, which back then was, you know, cool. yeah, because they would print a billion of every card. That's really cool. Oh, and a Kelvin Upshaw from Wild Card. That's really cool. Yeah. A couple of these guys are names that I haven't even thought of in years and years. So that's awesome. Thank you very much, Jason. That is awesome of you. Really appreciate that. All right. So next up, I'll mention this one. This is my TTM. So Drew over at Clean Cheap Shots had a great four-part uh, four interview uh, with two-time World Series champ 
Eddie Watt. And if you watched my earlier videos, I did a mail day where I picked up an Eddie Watt card from 1973. I think it was 73. And uh, because I, I really enjoyed the interview and I thought, man, I want to get his card. So I ordered his card and got that. And, you know, he had a great 10-year Major League career along with those two World Series championships. He played briefly with the Cubs even at the end. Uh, and then I watched a video from John Mangini, and he titled it The Eddie Watt Project. And he talked about how Eddie Watt had lost his collection in a flood, so he didn't have his own cards anymore. And so John Mangini suggested that anyone who likes to do TTMs uh, do it. Do this. Send Eddie Watt two cards, one for him to sign and then one for him to keep to replace the cards that he lost. And so that's what I did. I ordered a, a second card, and I mailed those out to him and let him know that uh, one of those was for him and one of those was for him to autograph for me, and he did that. And he also sent this nice little note. Thanks for the card. Happy holidays, Ed Watt. So I ended up with two autos in a way right there. So uh, very, very happy to get this return. Thank you, Mr. Watt. That is fantastic. Uh, thanks to Drew and John for the, the great interview and the great idea. Uh, so yeah, so he's got that card replaced, uh, at least one now, and, and maybe some other people sent him some of those cards as well. Uh, but I think that's a really nice, generous way of saying thanks to these athletes, especially when they take the time to write us back. Uh, so I'm very happy to have those. Uh, awesome uh, card to have to my collection. And I don't have a lot of baseball cards, so it's really nice to have that. And I will mention real quick, I just finished a really good book called The Pitch That Killed. Uh, it talks about Rex Chapman, who's the only Major League Baseball player to die during a game, uh, and the pitcher Carl Mays, and it kind of interweaves their stories together leading up to that very unfortunate situation. And it was great to hear, you know, to kind of learn about them and their stories, as well as some of the other legends that are mentioned in the book, like Babe Ruth and Tris Speaker. Uh, so I really enjoyed that book. I highly recommend it if you like reading sports books. Now we'll go into my uh, pickups that uh, I got on eBay. Now, the nice thing for me with 90s cards is because, you know, unfortunately they were way overproduced. However, as a result of that, I was also able to pick these up very affordably. Some of the insert cards from when I was a kid that I always really wanted. And so I'll show a couple of them right here. These are, the, these are from 1991. And uh, the first two, these are insert cards from Proset Platinum. And so this is a um, Gaston Green, and then also an Emmett Smith. And these were insert cards that you could get in those packs. And then two others that were part of that same insert set. These are Pro Set Platinum Platinum Photos. Uh, really love these, these images right here. So here's the Kevin Mack. And then this one right here is the Houston Oilers. They titled this one Low Fives. Uh, great images, nice little inserts that I never had uh, when I was younger, and now those are going to help me to uh, complete my set. All right, I'm a I'm a fan of Notre Dame, and when I was a kid, I was a you know when I was younger, I was a big fan of Rodney Culver's uh, Notre Dame alumni right there, and this is the Running Wild from 1992. These were one per retail jumbo pack, and so I was happy to be able to pick that one up right there. Unfortunately, he passed away in a plane crash in the Florida Everglades uh, back in the 90s, but uh, he was a really talented running back there. And then I have two of these. These are 1992 gold MVPs. So I've got the Rod Woodson and the Marion Butts. I only needed a couple of these to complete my set, and so I was really happy to, to pick those up. And those were one per jumbo pack as well, I believe. And I only had a couple... Uh, of, of this insert set, so I picked up some more right here. These, this is Hall of Fame 2000 from Pro Set back in 1992. Uh, so there's this Art Monk, Hall of Fame 2000. Ronnie Lott. And then on the back it kind of gives a synopsis of their career. Uh, Marcus Allen, really nice photo there. Eric Dickerson, and of course you're going to want to have Joe Montana on that list as well. Alright, next up... I have, these are from 1993. Uh, there's a whole bunch, so I'll go really quick, but these are these are the all-rookie pro set uh, insert set. And if you look here, you can notice that kind of that cracked ice look. So even back in 1993, they had a bit of that. You like that look? Yeah, those are pretty shiny, huh? 
So I have one of the all-rookie, Rick Meyer from Notre Dame, and he played for the Bears for a minute. And then all of these are rookie running backs. They also did rookie quarterbacks, so Von Hebron, a couple of my all-time favorite Notre Dame players, and they were teammates together. Reggie Brooks, who started off amazing with Washington and then just kind of fell off. And then Jerome Bettis, who, of course, is a Hall of Famer. I've also got Natron Means, who had a couple really great years. Glenn Milburn, Terry Kirby, Roosevelt Potts, Derek Brown, Russell White, uh, Ronald Moore, and Garrison Hurst. Hurst had a really solid career. Robert Smith, who was very talented as well. And Derek Lassick right there. So, yeah, just kind of a nice little insert. And I, that's going to get me close, if not all the way, to complete the sets of those. Um, and then... Uh, two Barry cards. This one right here I love. This is a wild card Field Force from 1993 Chrome. So it kind of, I don't know if it picks up super well in that light, but uh, it's a really nice card. And then the other one that I have is the 93 Wild Card Stat Smasher. And I love this insert set. I think this one's really cool. So very happy to have that. I just watched. Uh, Bye Bye Barry, I think's the name of it. Great documentary. Really enjoyed that. Very nostalgic. He was, man, he was so good. All right, so we'll go ahead and get into these. Um, I, part of the reason I bought these so quickly was it says on the back here that 10% uh, have autographed cards, but I had also read that the first 500 packs sold would all have an autographed card, so I'm hoping that's the case with these. The one that I did open had this Money Parks. He's a talented wide receiver for the youths and you can actually see him there on the cover i love his autograph here he's got the dollar sign so that's pretty cool and then i love this insert this is another guy who's uh in the draft this year is sioni Vaki, who played running back he's a safety but he also played running back and he was amazing he was great he really helped out the team a bunch so we'll see what we get in these next two packs and then uh, avery then you're going to be able to to look for some full house cards does that sound good yeah all right Again, thanks to Brian over at Walkenbach for giving me the heads up on these packs. Um, and again, you know, I'm a collector. I, I'm not like, I don't consider myself an investor. Uh, so, you know, I don't know what the value of these is going to be over time. But for me, these are going to be really nice cards for my collection. So, so I'm very excited to be able to, uh, to add these to the collection. Britton Allen. Nice. Caleb Lomu. Jalen Glover, nice. He's a talented running back. That one? John Randall Jr. John Randall Jr. Okay, I'm going to have to figure out about this. Is that... I wonder if that's somehow John Randall, the great NFL player's kid. Maybe. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to check on that. Uh, Johnny Mai. Joey Cheek. Uh, Kenzel Lawler. Uh, Colin Faya, you. I probably said that wrong. Ooh, and then here we go. This might be an auto. And it is. Oh, this is a great one. Okay, so. That's cool. Yeah, I'm very thrilled about that. So so now I've got both of these for Siani Vaki. And I'm gonna really excited to see where he goes in the draft. Uh, awesome player. So whoever ends up with him, I think, is going to be really happy. Great, great player. All right, then we've got, uh, let's see, wrong side. Okay, right here. Uh, Luke Botari. I always saw him on the sideline. Didn't really see him playing at quarterback. Uh, Mikey Matthews, who just transferred, unfortunately. Uh, Teo Johnson. Nice. Got Van Fillinger. Nice. He's a good player. Yeah. And another Jonah Ellis right there. And that's cool. a... This is the... Um, so the red is the regular. This is the parallel with the white. And then we did get another insert. Oh, hey. <laughs> another Sione Vake. So this is a... Sione Vake hot, hot box right there. Uh, but hey, I'm okay with that. I'll probably give this one to my brother. He would be thrilled to get a copy of that. So, all right, second pack. Here we go. Okay, so I'm very pleased with the two autographs that, I, that I've pulled so far. Uh, those are two really good ones. Okay, so... Hey, there's a good one for us. Um, okay, we'll go from the back here. And let me turn around. So Cameron Rising, I was hoping to get a card of his, so that's great. He's coming back this year. He was injured all season. Uh, Darian Stewart. Uh, Falcon Kuomatule. 
Kareen Reed, Keanu Tanavasa, Keaton Bills, very talented, very good player. Uh, ooh, hey, that is fantastic. Look at that. Jonah Ellis Otto. Nice. Uh, so both of these guys, Vaki and Ellis, are both going into the draft, and these are numbered out of 250. Kind of hard to see it. There it is right there. And there it is right there. Uh, so very excited. Two guys going into the draft, and then the other auto that I got from the other day was uh, a player who will be returning this year, uh, Kenzel Lawler. Mickey Suguturaga, maybe. <laughs> uh, Miles Battle. Uh, Money Parks, his regular card. Uh, Nick Howe, I saw an insert there, but I didn't catch the name. So we'll see. Johnson again. Uh, oh, cool. Cam Rising with the parallel white. Nice. And then the last card, Cole Bishop. Awesome. This is another very, very talented player. I expect to see him playing in the NFL as well. So I'm very happy to get that card as well. Uh, there's the back of these. So, yeah, very happy. For me as a Ute fan, those are some very good cards of some very good players here in the state of Utah. So that's awesome. All right, are you ready to rip some packs? All right. All right, you're up. Okay. So while you're opening that, just to kind of show you guys, who created Full House? Jeff Franklin. Jeff Franklin. Where does he live? Beverly Hills. Oh, wow. And L.A. Beverly Hills and L.A. Okay. Do you need help with those? Um, I'm good. I got it. There we go. Nice. Okay, so this will also include full house cards and perfect strangers. So she is looking for any full house cards. And you have half of the full house cards already, right? So yeah. tell us if you see any new ones. Okay, go ahead. This is Family Matters. Yeah. Oh, this is a new one. I That's a new one? That. Great. Now, who's that? Stephanie. And who plays Stephanie? Jody Sweeten. All right. This is Perfect Strangers. Okay. Let's flip to the back. Family Matters. Yeah. <gasps> this is Full House Jesse. And, and who plays Jesse? John Stamos. There you go. This is Perfect Strangers. Yeah. This is Family Matters. And yeah. All awesome. right. So you got it one one that you needed, right? Yes. Okay. You want to open your second pack? Sure. All right. Okay, help me. Sure. It's always nice to get cards that that you need for your your collection, huh? For your set. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Go. Okay. Whoa. There you go. <laughs> Family Matters. This is a full house. I don't think I have that one. Oh, yet. okay. So who who's on that card? Um, Becky and who's, who plays Becky? Lori Laughlin. And there's John Stamos. What what did you hear about Lori Laughlin recently? Um she went to prison. <laughs> yeah, yep, she did. That's Bob Saget, Jody Sweeten, Candace Cameron Bure, Dave Collier, and Barry or Ashley, I don't know. Yeah, one of the two, huh? Now, who's your favorite character on Full House? Probably DJ. All right. Perfect Strangers. This is Family Matters. Nice. Oh, cut Stephanie. it out. You got the same card again. Yeah. Let's see. Perfect Strangers. Yeah. Family Matters. Yeah. All right, so you in both packs you got a card that you needed, right? Yeah. That's great. All right. All right, everybody. Thanks for sticking with us. We appreciate you taking time to uh, check out some of the new additions we have. Thank you once again to Jason for the awesome cards and the awesome uh, Christmas card, too. That looks great. Uh, anyway, we appreciate your time. I'll be back with more videos in the near future. And as always, go Bears okay. and go Utes. And while we're at it, go Aggies. Thanks, everybody.